Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 17, The Confession He confessed? I thought we never finished filling out those forms. It's alright, honey. The nightmare is over. Bob's in jail, but not his boss. I feel like I can finally breathe. That jerk deserves to rot in jail. He endangered the love of my life. It was an intense night, but I'm feeling better already. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'll go to Mary's. I need to lose myself in my work. You're unstoppable. You should rest, honey. Are you sure this is a good idea? Last night was very stressful. You should get some rest. It'll do you good. Or cooking. You're so cute when you take care of me. Thank you. But we got Bob locked up. And I want to celebrate by doing it a bit of work. I feel like things are finally heading into the right direction. Classic workaholic. You've known this since the day you met me. Cooking makes me happy. Fine, I could get some work done on the book too. How is that going? I'm close to finishing. I just need to interview Tom. We're getting together tomorrow. He'll be in town for the day. That's fantastic. See you at dinner. I'll make something extra special. How are you? I'm fine. How's everything around here? Are you feeling alright? You don't look so good. Alvin, let's talk about something else. You can't imagine the horror I experienced yesterday. What happened? What happened? Celestine and I spent the day at the new house. I heard noises in the middle of the night. Bob was lurking outside. Bob? What was he doing there? He broke a window. He was trying to get in, I guess. I didn't know what to do, whether to confront him or not. My daughter? It was awful. Well, she was singing in her room. Girl, next time, don't hesitate to call me. You can always count on me. I'm glad you're both alright. Thanks. I came because I needed to take my minds off things. Then, let's get to work. We're in the number 6 spot. We need to move up. Getting my head back onto this ranking is exactly what I needed. The new country style 5 step menu will be a success. All we need to do is come up with a dessert. We both know the answer to that, don't we? Geo, right? To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I have a proposal for you. You remember I'm married, right? I'd like you to create a dessert for our new menu. We want to make it to the top spot in the Chef Magazine ranking. And you want to ask me? I haven't completed my studies yet. Your ideas are fresh and innovative. I need your unique talent so I can abuse it, right? You remind me of myself. I was already cooking very well before I even started studying. My studies only helped me polish my skills. Well, isn't she categorized as a ghost chef now? Because it's not your creation, Katie, right? I can't wait. On one condition. You may be right. It's just that... She might say no. Spit it out. Just say it. What do you want? I want my name on the menu. Well, well done. Even if it's on the last page as collaborator in small print, this dessert will have your name on it. No small print. We'll put in gold letters if we have to. Thanks. I didn't expect that much. You deserve it for taking the initiative. You're good at negotiating. 
Look, I taught you well. I'm proud of you. I really appreciate this opportunity and your understanding. You plan on stealing my star pastry chef? Yeah, something like that. You're not getting away with this. Let's go. That dessert won't make itself. Yes, we need to start testing right away. We just need to finish the baseboards and this room will be done. Looks great. Good job. I really needed the distraction after everything that happened with Bob. Thanks for lending an ear. I still can't believe it. Is that why he ran off after the bathtub fell? You're right. I'm sure he was the one who loosened the floorboards. Good thing we found him. He was hiding out at his grandmother's. And he was arrested. Yes, he's in jail, but I'm still uneasy. What are you thinking? Who's his boss? I don't understand why Bob did all this. He even ended up in jail for what? For a job? I did some answers. Then why don't you ask him? Maybe if we add a touch of citrus? It would be a good contrast to the cream, but it doesn't go with the raisins. Back to square one. The dessert has to be unforgettable. It can make or break the menu. The menu is country style. We use ingredients from the country. Can any of those ingredients be used for desserts? No smell it. I brought some strawberries. Strawberries, perfect. Then we can make a mini cake. No, that's nothing original. Let's start with the batter. No. Or I give up. I don't know where to start. Hey, do you want your name or not in the menu? The technique, the flavor, of course. Never mind the type of dessert. It doesn't matter if it's classic or modern. I want you to think with your palate and your taste buds. What would you like to taste? What would our guest like? Let's see. A mirror glass melts in your mouth. It's delicious. That's what I'm talking about. And sugared almonds over a soft texture for contrast. My mouth is already watering. Then there's your answer. Aye aye, Captain. What are you doing here? I'm here to ask some questions, Bob. Hello, I'm already in jail. What else do you want? Get lost. I have a question I can't get out of my head. What could have possessed you to hurt us like that? I'm crazy, can't you see? No, I don't think so. You're not crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. You're paranoid. There has to be a reason. You make no sense. Go back to your house, rich guy. He's crazy. Alright then. I need to know though, Bob. Who's your daddy? You're the one who's not making any sense. Why did you do this to us? Talk, you Bob. Breaking the bathroom? Scaring my wife and child? You're a psychopath. Well, he's crazy. Were they really scared? Both she and I are just one phone call away from ruining your life. We know people. Who did you think you were messing with? Judge Robinson, you mean, right? Not so funny anymore, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. You made our life a living hell all this time. You must have a reason and you'll tell me what it is right now. My wife almost died. You could go to prison for attempt murder. Do you think prison will be as nice as this jail cell? All right, all right, enough. There are minerals under your land. It's full of very valuable minerals. Someone pressured me into doing it. Someone pressured you? So now it's somebody else's fault? There are bigger fish who want to exploit the land. Take it away from you. I was only following orders. That's why I was trying to drive you away. I see. Please, I'm just another victim. Playing victim now, really? My life is at stake now. 
and my poor grandmothers. You should think before you act then. Don't play the victim. This is not the end of this. They won't get away with this. Who's they? We're almost done. We have several great options to choose from. Are you alright? Yes, I called Adam but he didn't answer his phone. I'll try again. Hey babe! Where were you? You had me worried. I went to confront him. I needed to know why he did all of this. I confronted him and made him confess. He told me he was following orders that there are people who want the land. What people? What do they want it for? It seems there are minerals under the land. Bob says these people are very powerful and have threatened him. Who could they be? I don't know, honey, but we'll find out. Good job, sweetie. I'm heading back into the city. See you at home. Yes, I'm still at Mary's Geo's here. She sends her love. We've been working on a new dessert, doing some tastings. I'll bring you some samples for you to try so you can give me your opinion. You know that if it has to do with dessert, I'm in. Celestine too. Why don't you mine your own minerals, Adam, in your own home? What do you guys think? They're gross. Sorry, mom. I don't like them either. Sorry, Hardy. I don't get it. What could we have done wrong? You need to sprinkle a little bit of minerals on it, of course. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And see you guys on our next journeys.